This is Your Health Matters on WSBT News. Tonight we begin a new series. Every month we'll be looking at local health issues, specifically focusing on cancer. Tonight our focus is on obesity. Every year there are 100,000 cases of cancer because of it. And it's worth talking about because the number on the scale can determine who gets cancer, how you treat it, and how likely you are to stay cancer free. According to the CDC, more than 30% of people in Indiana are considered obese. And because of that, more people are battling cancer. It just basically breaks my heart that they have to go through that, and especially when it's avoidable. Dr. Robin Zahn at Michigan Hematology Oncology says it's a tough fight for those patients. Surgery is longer. There are more potential complications. Even treating it is harder. Chemo and radiation doses are higher, more toxic. It does really wear on them more than it might somebody who's very energetic and who's much healthier. Heather Borza is a registered dietitian. She works with cancer patients. I think that there's a time and place for weight loss. Her job is to teach patients how to eat to live. When patients are going through chemo and radiation, their body is going through a lot. And we don't want to, you know, hinder the healing process that's happening with that. So it's not always the best time to go on a weight management program. But losing the weight is important even after beating the disease. Obese patients are more likely to see cancer come back. They're also more likely to get other types of cancer. There's things that we can't control, the environment and heredity and what's passed down to us through genetics. Surprisingly, only 5% of cancers are hereditary. Most are caused by things we can change. Other than not smoking, eating healthy and achieving a healthy weight are the key things that you can do to cut your risk for developing cancer. So what kind of cancers are we talking about? There are seven linked to obesity. 50% of them are uterine. Esophageal cancer accounts for another 35%. And you can see the list on from here, pancreatic, colon, breast, kidney, and thyroid.